Hello everyone, welcome back to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So I know I've been a little bit of MIA lately and I want to thank you, everybody that has reached out to me. I appreciate you guys. There's been a couple like little hurdles and finally things are getting better. So I wanted to bring you guys a video and it's one of my favorite things that I love to do, farmhouse decor in minis. So I hope you guys really enjoy it and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now sit back and relax or craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, so for this first one, I have this jar from Dollar Tree. And it is glass. And it did have a top. It had like a, I think it was like an aluminum type top. And I had taken that off for a previous DIY. And then I just removed that rubber um, band that was around it. Now I'm going to take some white chalk paint. And I am going to give this one complete coat, I'm sorry, two coats of white chunk paint using my sponge brush. The reason why I use a sponge brush, because I feel like it leaves less streak than if I use a regular paintbrush. And just one of the reasons why I've been gone, you guys, for a while, my two-year-old had surgery on his hand and he did not enjoy it so much. He hated the fact that he had stitches. They only put like a bandage wrap around him. And he ripped out his stitches twice. So we had to go in again and again to get it restitched. Yep, that has been just part of the adventure for the past couple weeks. On top of everything else. Now you guys, this is the story of my life. Now that it's dried, um, I take my little my nail filer, which is I use as a sander. And I'm just going to sand up a couple random spots. Um around the front of it like you know that part that's indented i do go really deep and i do um sand that all up but i do leave the paint showing i just want some of that glass to pop through and i really love the way it looked so you guys could go as you know you guys could leave it as it is or sand it up as much as you want i wanted to give it that really rustic feel and once i had did all my little spots i put a piece of pool noodle inside of there and I filled up our little base with some boxwood greenery that I got from Walmart. And you guys could choose whatever greenery or even florals that you want in, um, to put inside. And that was it for this one, you guys. I love the way that this one came out. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, you guys, for this next one, I'm grabbing this little wood house from Dollar Tree. Now, for all these little minis, I'm trying to really go with everything from Dollar Tree or stuff that you might already have in your stash. So I start off by painting the front and the back with some white Waverly chalk paint. And then I'm going to paint the border around the house in my Waverly Antique Wax. Now you guys don't have to paint um, the house because I am going to take a piece of scrap paper and cover the front of the house. Um, so you guys, if you guys are going to redo it exactly how I did it, just paint one side. It's completely up to you. But I do like my antique wax to go on the darker side so I did go over it probably like two times just to give it that darker look now I grab a piece of scrapbook paper and I am going just to trace the house onto the scrap paper and I'm going to cut it out now I love my glue stick my purple disappearing glue stick and I just put that all in the house and then I'm going to lay the scrap of paper nice and flat down. I know some people prefer Mod Podge, but I don't have issues when I use this, like on certain projects, when I use this glue stick, it adheres well and it stays on there. I have no issues with it peeling up at all, which that's a double win for me and less of a mess because I make a mess when I use Mod Podge. So once I put that on there, I am going to take our house I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, your house. And I'm just going to sand the borders around using my little nail filer just to get the excess um, scrapbook paper off the edges and give it that nice, clean look. So I love these Dollar Tree trans, like rub-on transfers. And they have different words with different fonts. And I just grabbed the word gather. And I just transferred onto our house. I love the simplicity of this. And I love these transfers because you just rub it on. You know, transfer it right on there. And if there's like a little piece that you miss off, just lay it back down again and transfer it right on. If that makes <laughs> if that makes sense. I wanted to give it a little bit more, 
of something so i grab a piece of twine and i burn it to give the twine like that rustic look and i'm just going to wrap it around our wooden house just using a little bit of hot glue just to keep it nice and tight and nice and put now once i wrapped it around the house a couple more times i wanted to make like a little i made like a little twine bow and i took some beads i think these beads are wooden beads are from dollar tree and I think they are maybe from a sign that it had and I just um twined some beads to the end of our little bow and I attached our bow onto the house and that was it for this one you guys look at how cute I've seen houses like little wood houses like these online and they are pretty expensive and I love that we made this for just a couple dollars and another little farmhouse piece let me know what you guys think I felt so much love Okay, moving on right to our next one. We are going to recycle uh, a ribbon spool. Is that what it's called? Like, it's just like the leftover from a ribbon at Dollar Tree. And we're going to use two wooden circles. These are from Walmart and some craft sticks. I'm going to pull off the top and the bottom of the ribbon. So we're just left with the middle cardboard round piece. Now, once I pull that off, I am going to take my little nail filer. And I'm just going to clean it up a little bit because it had like all that left or cardboard and then we are going to glue our two wooden circles one on the top one on the bottom try to get them as centered as you can because i just eyeball everything i don't measure anything and my stuff is <laughs> barely ever centered and what i love about this one you guys is basically we're recycling basically garbage that you would throw away and this is like for pennies it costed us pennies to make this one so Another thing I want to say, thank you all. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Everybody that reached out to me. Like I said, it was a lot of like family issues, you know, issues with the kids and all that. And I appreciate all the love, you know, the emails, the messages, everything. And especially Audia. Um, she's a fellow creator, DIY, DIY with Audia. She was messaging me nonstop, checking in on me almost every single day so thank you for all your kind words and messages okay you guys so what i did was i just took some craft sticks these were the medium craft sticks from dollar tree and i just cut them down to fit in between the two circles like basically our top and our bottom and um i took some hot glue and i just started to put them all glue them all onto our cardboard round piece and when it came to the last one it was just a little too thick so I just cut it down widthwise and I stuck it right on there and it fit perfectly. So the last and final step for this is I took some antique wax and I stained our entire little fake spool. And I went over it a couple times with the antique wax because like I said before, I love um, like the dark, like the dark looking type color. But I do have regular stains. But I'm not going to be in, I'm in my house doing this and staining inside the house, especially with the kids. And I love, love, love the way this came out. Let me know what you guys think. So easy and inexpensive to make. Okay, you guys, for this next one, I am going to make a little faux book stack. You guys have seen this done so many times. I just did a little bit different. I think I did a little bit different, but I really love the way this one came out. So I am going to start off by covering those holes with some craft sticks. And then I am also going to fill them up with some spackle. And I let the spackle dry. And for some reason, I lost the footage. But I did paint it with some white Waverly um, chalk paint. And then I took my little like stencil brush, bristle brush from Dollar Tree. And I went over the edges and the indentations with my antique wax. And I love, like, it made it look rustic. I didn't go too, too heavy, like, on the front of the book stack. But I gave it that little bit of touch of, you know, distressing. What I did to the front of the book, I did to the back and the sides as well. Now, I have these Farmhouse Dollar Tree Rub-On Transfers. And at the bottom, it had Love, Peace, and Joy. And these fit perfectly for each of would be considered the fake books 
like these i did not have to use a cricut or anything like that so i love that i used dollar tree rub-on transfers and these are so easy to use like i said before you just rub them on use a i use sometimes like the back of a paintbrush um as you can see i use that little i don't know what that thing is called that little tool and if you miss a piece you just lay it back down and it transfers right on again so and you know what i loved about the font as these rub-on transfers they kind of look like stencils so i love that too about it so once i was done transferring on our little rum on transfers i took a little bit of white paint and i just went over a little bit just to dull it down a little bit now it's time to give our little faux book some embellishment so i grabbed some twine and i just put some twine on the left side of our book stack just a couple pieces i did wrap it around and once I wrapped it around, I did cut it because I made a faux book stack once like this and I left the twine at the bottom and the faux book stack was all lo lopsided because of the twine. So I just snipped it um, at the bottom of it and then I just glued those little tabs down. Now, I wanted to make like a little tassel like hang it from my book stack. So I grabbed a piece of twine. I folded it in half and then while those, they were folded in half together, I... Took a little bit of hot glue instead of tape. Now don't do this because I swear my fingers are immune to like hot glue. So I just cool it off a little bit and I just twist it instead of putting tape on it the lazy way. And then I twine some beads on there. And these are, I'm not even sure what millimeter beads are these. But I know these are, these are from Dollar Tree. I know they're either from a Dollar Tree sign or from Dollar Tree. And once I put the beads on there... I gave it a little, a little knot at the bottom and just gave it a little snip, trimmed it off. And then I took our little bead garland and I tucked it under our twine. I did use a little bit of hot glue just to keep it in place. And then I had some greenery, some lambs there. And then I feel like with the greenery, it looks like extra farmhousey. I just made up my own word there, farmhousey. Wow. And I put some of that greenery on there. And that was it for this one, you guys. I love the way this came out. This is like such a farmhouse like looking type of book stack. And it's perfect for a tea tray. Okay, so this next one has to be, I think, one of my favorite one of these minis. Now, I have made like little crates before. And I had put like full little milk bottles. I did little planters. So I am going to do this one a little bit different and I started off using some tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to glue them all together. I'm going to do, at first I started off with two, like two sets of three and I am going to end up using more tumbling tower blocks afterwards. You'll see why in just a few minutes. So I glue those tumbling tower blocks together and then I take our mini um, craft sticks and these are my walmart had a big sale i got like the last packs of craft sticks that they had they the, all the different size craft sticks even like the jumbo ones there was only one pack left though they were any um from 25 to 50 cents so i you know i stocked up on my craft sticks so i take my little mini craft sticks and i'm the tumbling tower blocks as you can see how i lay them down and i am going to start i'm going to put four on the front of the of our tumbling tower box blocks and four four in the back because we are going to build a little mini crate now this is where i'm going to add one more tumbling tower block to each side of it because i wanted our little mini crate to be a little bit wider because when i held it up like that i did realize that it was going to be like two too skinny it was gonna be too skinny so that's this is when i'm adeline adding sorry the other other tumbling tower block like i said i made these crates before on my channel and i did them for tear trays and i'm just making this one a little bit different and i wanted to share this one with you guys okay so our front and our back is done so i'm gonna we need to like fill up our bottom so i'm just taking some of those small craft sticks and i am going just to line four of them up and that it was perfect to make a bottom for this now we needed to make our sides and i wanted to look like our little crate had handles i did these before using the wood tags and that's why i said it's like a little bit different so i take two of like these are 
not these are kind of like jumbo but not the jumbo jumbo that walmart carry and i just cut them down and i'm going to glue one to each side of our little crate so like i said i wanted this to look like a crate that you could carry so i grab a dowel and these are from dollar tree as well and i just cut it down and i glue it to the inside of our popsicle sticks so it could look like a little handle so once again i'm grabbing my waverly antique wax and i'm going to stain our entire crate stain our entire crate did i say that right yes uh -huh. and i do you know i even do the inside a little bit when it when it comes to the end of it the inside really doesn't show but i like a complete project so i do stain the whole entire thing and like i always say you guys i just give you guys inspiration you guys do whatever colors you want you know whatever fits your decor this i just love like the whole antique wax and the distressing and all that if it's my decor you can even paint this a bright color if you wanted to and stick some different florals inside there it's completely up to you i give you guys inspiration and if you guys do do something please tag me on instagram and so i could see if you guys created any of my projects i would appreciate that the links for my social media are always in my description box so i take a little pieces of floral foam you guys and i just stick it inside our little crate now i have and i'm sorry and i'm also going to take some spanish moss stick it inside there now i have um different like leftover greenery picks and well like yeah like pieces and i always say don't throw away your leftover florals because it comes in like perfect for projects like this i don't know what these florals are called but i stick i bunch them together so basically i put one of the same floor on the left hand side one of the same floor on the right hand side and i know that's boxwood in the middle and the boxwood in the middle now i wanted this to look like a little mini herb garden i did another crate like this like a while ago and it, it was on my channel as well and um i actually stuck them in fake little planters but i wanted to like go inside it without using any little planters which i love so i did want to label the little mini herb garden so i took one of these tags from dollar tree and i just were i wrote down the word fresh herbs and i glued it right onto the front of our little crate now i wanted this to look more like a little garden so i have these little mini craft sticks like i said i picked up at walmart and these were for 25 cents and i took a lot out there i was just showing you guys but i took three of them out and i wrote thyme cilantro and basil and i just stuck them into the little plants our little greenery and that was it for this one you guys i love 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 the way this one came out let me know what you guys think remember if you guys recreate any of these tag me on instagram and let me know okay you guys so here's another project that's only gonna cost us a dollar 25 so i have this little double-sided chalkboard from dollar tree and of course to stick with the whole theme i am going to stain the outside like the borders of our little chalkboard with Wa waverly antique wax i do that to the front and i do that to the back now i try to stay away from my cricut a lot during these projects i probably used it like a, just a couple times but i wanted to give you guys different options because i always say these different options but i wanted to show you guys these different options so i grabbed these stickers from dollar tree and i wanted them to be in white because obviously black on black is not going to show so i just took um some white paint and this was acrylic paint so i colored a lot of them but i um took out the word to spell out menu and i just put the word menu on the top of our chalkboard and then i took my chalk i did line it up though because my oc was like acting up because it was all lopsided and I took my chalk marker. Now, I don't have the best penmanship, but I just wrote the days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You could use this. You don't have to use this, but it was like a cute little thing for a tear tray. Now, this is a piece of a uh, square dowel that I have, and I just cut it down. And I wanted like a little place like to hold where the chalk would go. So I glued this little piece down to my little chalkboard and I do stain it 
I did stain it to match um, our chalkboard. And wouldn't that be so cute? I stick a little piece of chalk right on there. And it just, I don't know, this is so stinking cute to me. And it's just like a little chalkboard, the little, you know, our little chalkboard holder. Now, the other side, I didn't want to, I wanted to do something a little different. So I found this stencil at Dollar Tree, which I was so excited about. I'm not a fan of Dollar Tree stencils, but I was, you know, I'm going to try it out. So I just took random words because a lot of the words were too big to fit on there. So I random words out of the stencil, like the smallest ones. And I stenciled on different words on the back of it using some white chalk paint and some celery colored chalk paint. And it had a little bit of bleeding, but I just cleaned it right up and wiped it right off. So now it's double sided, which I love, love how this came out. It's so stinking cute. And you could use it or you could just use it for decoration. But I think it was such a cute idea. Okay, you guys, this one has to be by far my favorite. I keep saying it, but I think this one has to be it. Now, this is a three-piece, like, dish for that you could get from Dollar Tree. And I don't know if they sell, like, individual shaped ones like this, but I it was already one piece was broken off, and um, it was a little too broken. So I grabbed my hot knife, and I'm here. I was trying to, like, break it. If you guys have any tips to, like, separate these without breaking it completely like I did, let me know down in the comments so at the end i just had to just like snap it it cracked a little bit but we are going to fix that right up and it's gonna look vintage and farmhouse -ish. i'm making my own words up today you guys as we go since it is plastic and i am gonna hand paint it with chalk paint i do grab my little nail filer and i do sand it down just to dull it down a little bit Okay, you guys, now I didn't know what direction, what color direction I wanted to go in with this. So I do grab my white chalk paint at first and I give it a base coat of white chalk paint. So you're going to see me do that first. Then I went over this. I'm in, yeah, it was like silver, like silver already, but I tried the galvanized look. I didn't like that. Then I tried some like plain elephant chalk paint. I did not like that. So I ended up going with, um, I took some elephant chalk paint and some black paint and I mixed it together and I liked the way that it gave it that dark gray look. So once I painted it gray, I let it all dry up and then I grabbed, I wanted it to have like a rustic look. So I grabbed my regular school glue and my cinnamon and I do like the fake rusted look and that's I'm sure you heard of it, but if you've never heard of it, you just take some glue and you put some cinnamon over it and you let it dry and it gives it like a, a rust of, a rust look effect. So I go around the whole, all four, the, the bottom, all four sides. And then I just do some random spots um, around like on the top of our, this is, I don't know if I said this, but it's going to be a little mini full scale which I made a mini one before. And this one's a little bit larger, but it's still preferred to a tray. Now I have like a burnt umber color. It's not from Apple Barrel. I'm not sure. It's like little paints. And it's just like a little bit different from the burnt umber, but I liked it because it gave like a more of like a, a rust look. So I did do some dry brushing all around the planter. Now this little pie looking type thing, this was from a Dollar Tree ornament. And I... I had ripped off the ornament before because I was going to use it and I never did. And I wanted it to match so I painted it with the same dark gray color that I um, made. And then I'm going to give it the full rust effect using the, um, the glue and the cinnamon. Now that little purple round thing is like a little toy fake frisbee thing that I think I got from a bubble gum machine. If you don't have something like you could use... You know, like the cover that comes like in the cinnamon icings or even like a little wood round circle piece. Anything like that, I'm going to use that for the face of the scale. Now, like I said, I'm just giving the the top of like the little pie, fake pie dish, the rust effect. And I'm also going to give our little face of our scale the rust effect as well. Now for the face of the clock, I went on Google like images and I just looked at vintage clocks or scales, I should say, and I just printed out that image 
and I sized it down and I glued it right into our little our little toy frisbee and it looked perfect I should have rusted it after but I did it before of course now this is just like a for the to separate you know to hold up the the, the top of the scale that piece that I'm using was just a wood block that I had and I just painted it and rusted it the same color and I'm just going to assemble all the pieces together I put the wood block the top of the scale and then I just glued on the face of the scale and then I wanted to decorate the inside of it I just didn't want to leave it plain so in a previous DIY I made some mini faux books and I'll link that video down below just in case you want to see how I made them and I just put the books in there and look at how vintage and cute this looks okay you guys for this next one is so easy and so quick this is one of those little toy houses that you get from Dollar Tree obviously the toy section and I'm just going to stain it with of course Waverly antique wax I stained the whole entire thing um, even the bottom and then I I think this is the only project that I use using my Cricut for all of these um, little minis and I made, and I found, I'm sorry, I didn't make, I found this SVG on Cricut Design Space. And I just printed it out using my Cricut. And I transferred it on there. And once it was transferred on, I distressed our little table with some white Waverly wax. And that was it for this one, you guys. So simple and so inexpensive. Okay, so this next one is not a DIY, but it's a perfect like little addition for our farmhouse tier tray. I got this home sign from Dollar Tree. Yeah, I believe it's from either Dollar Tree or Michaels for like a dollar. But I've been having it forever, so I'm not quite sure. But I want to say it's from Dollar Tree. So I paint the, the letters, the home um, letters um, with our white chalk paint. And then I'm going to paint the bottom base with our black chalk paint. And I do take a, like a little mini brush to get in between the like the little like creases of the words just to give those some coverage. And sorry you guys, I know I'm breathing a little bit heavy. I've been sick. So sorry you guys, just bear with me as I'm here doing this vo voiceover and sounding like if I'm getting suffocated over here. Okay, so... Once I give it those two basic colors, I want it to pop a little bit more, like a little bit more dimension. So I take Waverly Antique Wax and I take Elephant Chalk Paint and I give a heavy dry brush to the word home. And then to the bottom base of the black, I distress that with some white chalk paint just to give it all different contrast. And that was it for this one, you guys. Another piece for our tear tree. Okay, so I know a lot of you are going to love this one. So these little crates are from Dollar Tree, but this one was broken, so they gave it to me for $0.25 cents a while back, and I was like, I could fix that using just some craft sticks. That's exactly what I did. I cut down some craft sticks, and I just glued it right on there, and you couldn't even tell that it was ever broken because I am going to fill this up, of course. I'm not going to just leave it like that. So once I fix it up, I do take it and I give a heavy stain of my Waverly Antique Wax to the whole entire little crate. If you guys ever see a piece at Dollar Tree and it has like damage or broken and it's not in the clearance like little section that they have, speak to the manager and I'm sure they'll give it to you on clearance. They do it at all my Dollar Trees as well. So I did leave the twine on this. And I wanted to look more vintage, of course. So I took my little lighter and I burned out the twine. I could have taken it off and retwined it back, but I just did it like this the lazy way. Now, these eggs are from Dollar General and I got them for 50 cents, of course, after Easter. Now, I wanted to do brown eggs and now white eggs. So I just took like different colors. Like I took like orange, yellow, brown, a bunch of different colors and just mixed it until i was happy with the color and it looks better when it dries up it's still like a little bit orangey when it's wet and i just painted all of my little mini eggs i did want my mini eggs to be speckled so i grabbed i said speckled really funny right now um so i grabbed some black paint and a paintbrush a little bit 
I, what I do is I wet my paintbrush a little bit. Um, so just a little, little tiny bit. And then I just flick it with my finger. And that's how I speckled all my eggs. Now this is, it does get messy. So there was like black paint, speckles of black paint everywhere. So just make sure you throw something down. If you have like your workstation and it's messy like mine's always is. And it is what it is. I thought I could like save it with the, the brown paper, but that didn't work. So I took my crate and I did do distressing. If you're not a fan of distressing, don't do it. Like I said, I give you guys inspiration and I just dry brushed um, my crate. Now, I wanted to, I wanted like a fresh eggs type of sign. So I grabbed Dollar Tree. They, my Dollar Tree always has like the wood, these wood sticker, lemon, watermelons, whatever, all year round. They have them on like the end caps. So when they, they don't have a lot of them, but when they have like a couple packs here and there. So when I do see like a pack or two, I do grab them and save them because I don't only use them for lemons. I use them for like circle shapes. So I grabbed I grabbed my little round lemon shape just to use it as a wood round and I paint it using some white chalk paint and then I found this image online I just started looking up like farmhouse fresh eggs image images and I sized it down and um, I glued it using my purple like glue stick right onto our little wood round then I wanted I felt like it was too white, so I distressed it using some Waverly Wax. Okay, so I take our little wood round sign and I glue it to the front of the crate. And then it's time to fill up our crate. So I take some Spanish moss and I stick some Spanish moss inside there. And then all our little eggs have dried at this point. So I, and they look so cute. I'm sorry, but these little eggs look so stinking cute. I'm in love with it. And I stick our eggs inside there. And then I wanted something more because sometimes that could be a little bit extra. So I take one of the chalkboard tags from Dollar Tree. And I'm sorry if you guys hear that that's the school buses. So many school buses on this my neighborhood come at this time and there's no control in it and um okay that's my adhd where was i at <laughs> where was i at um okay so i take my i take a little chalkboard sign and i just write 25 cents on the chalkboard sign and i stick it inside the egg crate and this is like to me this looks like something you get at farmer's market or something like that if it was real obviously so stinking cute i love 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 this way the way this came out you guys have to let me know what you guys think if you love these diys and like i said if you guys recreate any of these diys tag me in my instagram or even drop a message down below here on youtube i appreciate every single one of you and thank you guys for watching i was so happy to do this video it's been i want to say maybe a month or a little bit over a month or give or take that i've been back on youtube and like I said, thank you everybody that reached out to me. I appreciate every single one of you.
I want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. All the links for my social media will be down in my description. And if you would like to support my channel and you could buy me a coffee in the description for that will be down below as well. And as I always say, this world could throw you twists and turns, but always make good choices. To the next one, you guys.